Quest on that bottom she. Welcome to Batumi. There was one politician, Azura Bjwani, and he said, I'm Georgian, so that means I'm European. So we always felt ourselves Europeans. So it's uh, not something we want to become. We already feel ourselves. Maybe it's kind of 70 to 30 percent. I feel like more European also. And this is the question which is frequently asked, whether we feel more Asian or European. Um, the answer is simple, none. We are Caucasians, as Georgia is in the Caucasus. Actually, we are just in between, and of course, we have something from Asia as well. And um, we were attacked and invaded by, for example, Ottomans, by Arabs, by Persians. So, of course, we have the influence, of course, definitely. Uh, so, you can see it in architecture, you can see it in uh, maybe songs, uh, folklores, etc. As well as European influence. So. And it is the mixture, it is a nice mixture of everything. Though Georgia is very small, it is really interesting. So we have traditions of what to say, how to say, how to behave to table and which toast comes first, which second and so on. It's like we say that Georgian Supra is uh, like academy. It's sharing your idea, it's telling history and it's, um, it's quite interesting. <laughs> Come and see and learn with Georgia. <laughs> If you came here about 20 years ago, it was absolutely different country. Uh, one of the most corrupted one, where still we had proble problems with uh, electricity, there was no infrastructure for tourists. People sometimes are brave because it is the only way <laughs> for them so to survive. Georgia has always been more progressive and more rebellious and an innovator and so um, it always said it's very big uh, word in the history. So you can find people with different ideas everywhere, but majority of them uh, so uh, still think that we, we, are, we, are, we have to move forward and Russia is the step for, or step backward. So I have gone through all this time, a lot of civil wars and uh, that was the most difficult time what I can remember. But since 2003, really you can and some the tourists who has been before are really shocked and they can find out a big difference what was before and what we have now so that's why it gives us uh, and we are very optimistic people give us a huge hope that in a few years we will be uh, one of the most developed and nice city to visit and country of course uh, some people have some aggression against us. others have remember the old times when they were friends and they still are quite friendly others are like um, somewhere in between they they, they do not like uh, uh, they do not fight them but they do not uh, they aren't very welcoming to them so it depends well we always say that people everywhere is great we love Russian people they love us we, we are coming together for a long time but there is a big but because we had some troubles so which I prefer not to speak about <laughs> every step uh, taken by us proves it that we're going forwards, not backwards. We are very lively, we are very loud, we are very brave. So if you if you watch some Georgian dances, so you can feel the real soul of Georgians. We never give up, <laughs> what I can say, and Georgian gene is very strong. So, as I already mentioned, we are a very old country, but during our uh, statehood, we have lost our independence several times because of big neighbors, but uh, uh, we are just four millions at this moment, but we survived. We survived uh, and we saved our culture, history, language, religion, That's, and tradition. We are a very traditional country. What makes us a little bit different from other countries and that makes us very proud actually. We don't want to be like single to all the world. 
maybe it's a little bit selfish, but we like to be. 